Well, hi there, everybody, and good Tuesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here as we enter meteorological spring, the first day of uh, March. A lot of meteorologists consider this the, the start of spring. Of course, astronomical spring will come in on March 20th, uh, later this month here. And now, of course, we're starting to talk about severe weather season, getting close to that time of the year here. Our classes continue today. These are put on by the local National Weather Service offices, the Hastings National Weather Service. They'll be in Grand Island tonight at the uh, City Hall basement. That's a class that will start at 6.30, and then up in North Central Nebraska, the North Platte National Weather Service will be in Bassett for the Rock County class, and that's at the fire hall starting at 7 o'clock this evening. So as always, I uh, always encourage you to attend these classes as they're in your area. So if you happen to be around these areas, definitely go and check one of these out here as you'll get some great information for the Weather Service. You'll learn how to possibly help them out as a storm spotter. And, uh, and of course, uh, you know, you can just uh, learn how to keep you and your family safe. These classes last about an hour and a half, two hours long. So definitely would encourage you to attend. Weather this morning is chilly out there this morning uh, to start things off. It's going to be a cool day today, if not even a little chilly out there, but decreasing clouds. A little bit of a north and northeasterly breeze throughout the day today. Heading into tonight, pretty quiet for the most part, chilly 20s and 30s. An increase in clouds after midnight. As we move towards tomorrow morning, though, we may actually start to get some clearing that takes place out ahead of a frontal boundary. This next disturbance comes through, and that brings us some increase in clouds. Mild conditions out ahead of that frontal boundary, a little cooler behind it. Temps may even drop later in the day. And towards the uh, later afternoon hours, a chance of some showers will start to make its way into the area. And there could be enough instability, especially towards tomorrow evening. We could get a couple of thunder showers out there. Not expecting severe weather, but hey, a few rumbles of thunder just reminded us that, hey, Spring is getting awfully close at this point here, and as we get into uh, the next couple of days, it's going to get milder and milder here, especially towards the end of the week and the weekend. Highs later on today will be uh, again, quite chilly up towards the O'Neill area at 34 degrees, a little warmer towards Broken Boat, 46. The best conditions will be out west here, a lot more sunshine, low to mid 50s, a breezy northwest wind. Northern Kansas, upper 40s, low to mid 50s, mid to upper 40s around the uh, Tri-Cities area. I would not be surprised if it ends up being a little cooler towards Grand Island, mid to upper 30s, lower to mid 40s out towards the east with decreasing clouds. Tri-Cities forecast for the next seven days. Again, tomorrow looks better, although we may drop late in the day with those temperatures peaking at 63, maybe towards the mid-afternoon hours or so. Again, that slight chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms late in the day tomorrow into tomorrow evening. Wrapping up very, very early on Thursday morning. A cooler day on Thursday behind that system, but not much that chilly out there. We're still looking at highs in the 50s. And then it's mostly 60s Friday through Monday there. A few fluctuations here or there. I wouldn't I'm not even be surprised if we're talking 70s as we get towards next Sunday and Monday. And I did throw in a slight chance of some, shy, some light showers and isolated thunderstorms as we get towards uh, next uh, Monday here. So, again, kind of just a sign of spring is here. So, again, the first week of March, looking all right. Today's probably the coolest day, but even then, I still say March coming in like a lamb. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Clonesti, and I hope you have a great day.